Well, by now you've seen the images of the Black Lives Matter mural on East 93rd Street. As inspiring as those images are, the impact is, well, it's unmatched right now, especially for mother Latasha Dotson, who recently lost her son in a shooting. Austin Love shares her story and how the art is providing a light during a dark time. I grew up over here. We lost a lot of wonderful people over here. It's a perfect place because it was a lot of stuff that happened from Raymond to Bessemer. I've never seen nothing like this before, and especially right here. This is amazing. We want to make a statement. We want to do it here, though. We want to do it in the community to bring black art to the black neighborhood and to show people that Black Lives Matter. When Ricky Smith got the inspiration for the Black Lives Matter mural, he never knew the true impact that it would have. It, the fact that the city had to block off the street for a week. Uh, we thought just that night when we were done, drive on the pool, but just people in droves. We've seen people from Spires and Dusky, people from New York, people have literally come. And we're proud. We got so much messages of love. I, I couldn't imagine it, honestly. Bringing together different families, races, and generations, sparking hope and healing. I was just so thirsty to come and see the artwork. For Latasha Dotson, curiosity brought her to East 93rd, but what she found was something that she never expected to see. Then when I got here and I first got out and walked this way, I said, wait a minute, that's my baby name. <laughs> Among the names honored in the mural, Danelle King, the name of her 12-year-old son she tragically lost in a shooting less than a month ago. I can't walk, can't sleep. Have a heart I still haven't had, I still haven't ate a proper meal since my son been gone. For Latasha and her family, the past 26 days have been nothing short of a nightmare. But here she found a bit of light in a dark place. Gave her a voice. I mean, we didn't do much, but it just shows that Black Lives Matter. He don't know us from Adam to Eve. And for him to have the idea to put my son's name in there, that's love. While the pain and the tears are still fresh from Danelle's death, Latasha and her family found comfort in knowing her son is being honored that his life mattered and always will. It can't bring back my son, but it definitely touched me. It's hard touching, really hard touching. Well, such an incredibly strong woman is she. And of course, our heart goes out to Latasha and her whole family as they're navigating such an incredibly tough time. And right now, live at the Black Lives Matter uh, mural here on East 93rd. And on it, you can see that Danelle King's name is right here, just 12 years old. He's being honored right now. And you can tell just how much it really meant to that family to see his name. And it's actually featured twice. I'm right now on the M in Matters, and it's also on the B in Black. And uh, Dave, if you haven't been out here, I encourage everyone to uh, take the time this weekend to come check this out. It's such a gathering place of right now of so many different people just coming, sharing stories, having conversations, and uh, currently is blocked off uh, by police and under the, uh, under the assumption that it will be blocked off for the rest of the weekend. So a really special sight to see here on East 93rd Street, Dave. Yeah, Austin, thanks for sharing that and showing what it means for so many people. Can't even imagine. Thank you for that this morning.